My name is David Egger. I am very athletic. I'm a runner, biker, I'm a rabbi, and I will be attending officer training in January with the Army. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a, a big into biking. And uh, in January of, the, of 2015, I was training. I was having a good time in Miami. And unfortunately, all good times got to come to an end. I fell really, really hard. If you can do something, you do it right. I broke my shoulder, my elbow, and my wrist. Well, thanks to the wonderful caring doctor and, to, and the wonderful caring uh, therapist, that I am almost back to myself. My name is Christopher Dumas. I'm a hand and upper extremity specialist with University Orthopedic Associates. So when Dovid came to visit us, he had come up from Atlanta, Georgia. He was involved in a bicycle accident. Uh, he was treated initially down there and placed into a splint and a sling, and he ended up having a shoulder injury, an elbow injury, and a wrist injury, which was diagnosed as a wrist sprain. Uh, after we looked into it further with a specific area of tenderness, he was found on an MRI to actually have a fracture which needed to be treated as well. My name is Jessica Spivey. I'm a physical therapist with University Orthopedic Associates. David is a unique patient because he came in with three separate diagnoses. Um, he had a shoulder injury, an elbow injury, and a wrist injury. When he came to me, um, he was still actually in a sling. He was pretty limited in both his shoulder and his elbow range of motion. The main thing for David was getting him back to where he wanted to be. When he came into the clinic, actually one of our first connections was he's interested in the military. I was in the military and knowing that that's where he wanted to get to, I knew that his standards of care had to be slightly higher. But he comes in with such a presence that he lightens the room. He enlivens everybody else in the clinic as well. It's, it's really amazing. Dr. Dumas, he has a big smile. I've never seen a doctor that has such a big smile. You walk into his office, he actually takes his time, explains to you all the procedures that are being done. He, he's very caring, he's very sympathetic to you, and he actually, and sometimes I actually felt like, I was like, doctor, are you sure it was me that was injured and not you? Because he actually made it feel like he was injured too, and he actually really cared about you. So in his case, our physical therapist Jess and I were able to coordinate his care very nicely because we needed to continue to have follow-up x-rays to make sure that the fractures did not move out of the position they were in, uh, but that his elbow and his shoulder were initially moving uh, to get his normal range of motion back. So David is a very special person. Uh, he's got a whole lot of energy, he's extremely motivated, uh, and he was able to complete his uh, physical therapy and the recommendations that we gave him to a T. Uh, he's somebody who is complete and thorough and brings a lot of energy to the table. So for David, the primary focus in the beginning was his range of motion and restoring full range of motion in both the shoulder and the elbow. Once he was able to regain full range of motion and his fractures were healed, we then focused on strength training um, so that he could get back to the activities that he needed to. So you know, I am back to myself. I'm getting ready to go biking in, in a little bit. And uh, that that's all.